So I'm going to welcome to this video. So this, the main crux of the video is about me flying to New Farm on a camping trip, uh, taking all the kit with me. That will be a future video of how I packed everything into the PB. There's a little bit of a, a snapshot of all the kit I took and more. But the main focus of this video is looking at decision making. Now, when we fly, we're constantly making decisions and there are limits that we fly to. And for me, this was in my mind, I checked everything, I planned the route, I checked the weather before I went and, and everything was supposed to be working to plan, although I had my diversions if required. However, it didn't go to plan and there was a point where I had to make a decision and that decision was to divert. And for me, all along the route, the, the cloud was raising and lowering, raising and lowering, these little, little dips that were forcing me a little bit lower and then I was coming back up again. They were they were fine and this was happening all the time along the route and the point of where I made my decision to divert was at least three quarters of the way through the trip, two thirds of the way through the trip. Uh, and I thought the cloud was just going to do this dipping and, and, and come back up again, but it didn't. And that was the point of where I made the decision to divert. However, while you're watching the video, see the conditions, see where I'm going through and put a timestamp in the comments where you think you would have made a diversion or aborted the flight or whatever. Put in the comments what you think you would have done in this situation. Because again, as pilots, we're always making those analytical decisions to be safe. We don't naturally want to go out and put ourselves in a dangerous situation. We, we fly because we enjoy it. And for me, this was still an enjoyable flight, but it just had a different outcome in terms of not landing where I wanted to land at. So I hope the, this video is useful to those that are flying and also the decision making process as we go through as pilots. So everyone and welcome to the channel and in this video you'll be seeing me try and squeeze all of this into that not exceed my max takeoff weight and go fly camping. Now I'm gonna be flying down to Courtney's. Those who've seen my content over the years will know where Courtney's farm is. It's here on the screen right now. And this will be my route heading between Birmingham and East Midlands. A nice navigational feature, the M1. I'm not doing anything new because my friend Paul has done this already. He flew down last year on his Bivy B, but I'm gonna see if I can do it in my PB. So anyway, we'll jump away from this straight to the taxi and I will see you in the air. Right, good morning everybody. Uh, weather's good, checked all the metals, checked all the tafts. Uh, cloud base is going to lift. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, effectively my first landing, uh, my first camping trip in a PB. Everything's packed in. I know I'm close to my max takeoff weight, but I've got everything I need uh, for this trip. And looking forward to seeing Courtney. So I messaged him this morning. I have a feeling they're busy because they've already closed down people coming in to, to camp. So it's going to be a busy event. So anyway, just waiting for the engine to warm up halfway there. And then I'm going to get on route. Route's planned on that. Route's planned on this. I've got my chart if required. So, uh, and I've got my phone as a third backup. So <laughs> all contingencies planned. Anyway, let's get on route and have a good time. If the cameras fail, I'll join you at, uh, at New Farm. But I say it's just about having fun on route. I say I'll uh, try and vlog as best I can. Controls are full and free, and the bag doesn't do anything. My helmet is done up, my harness is done up, my instruments are set. Darling, more traffic. Gold Fox from Whiskey Lima Romeo. Lining up runway 01 AstroTurf for immediate departure. Darling, more. That's good. Wow. That absolutely leapt off. And I'm still averaging over 400 feet a minute. Over 500 feet per minute climb rate. At max takeoff weight. Wow. And I've depowered my engine. For cruise. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't think we'd be teaching today. <laughs> be interesting to see what my cruise RPM is going to be as I'm a, a bit extra heavy today. Let's exit the circuit and get on route, shall we? Right, I need to zoom in a little bit more. I'm a UD. Let's go for five miles, shall we? That looks about right. So this is all actually a bit exciting for me. As much as I'm probably not saying anything at the minute, and I've been quite quiet, I'm just trying to make sure I'm navigating correctly. 
because uh, the fizz is the fizz is legal. We've got loads of fizz. It's a bit murky. We kind of want to be about 1,200 feet. Enough for land outs. The wind's from that direction, so that's the direction I'll be turning for my landing. So anyway, what I might do is I might go into what I call iPod mode because it's going to be a long flight. It's about just over an hour and you don't want an hour of me chuntering. So I'm going to probably switch the cameras off um, and uh, join you near a new farm. I'll probably leave you a bit of the wingtip stuff as I've done in vi videos in the past. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go any higher. And I want to fly around things because I want land out options. The other thing is, before I shut the cameras down, if I didn't know I was near max takeoff weight, I wouldn't know. This thing just feels like it's got a full tank of fuel. <laughs> but none of the camping kit seems to be making an effect. The bag seems to be doing all right. Enjoy the wingtip cam, enjoy the view as much as you can see. Um, I'll give you a flavor of it and I'll join you all at New Farm. Camping trip underway. Yeah. <laughs> but I have two rules in life. Growing old is compulsory, growing up is optional. So let's run this real time and hopefully you'll see me on the screen now. Uh, I'm just trying to work out where I am. The previous clip would have shown really good cloud um, and the good visibility. Somewhat further down the line, I think I'm nearing just northwest of Rugby. Yep, here it is uh, on the map. And so the visibility has been starting to, to uh, descend now. That's about 40 odd miles in and it's, uh, my height has only dropped by about 500 feet total. I say so it's been bouncing up and down. Uh, and I'm now getting to the point where I'm looking at it and going, is this just one of those no another ones where it bounces and lifts back up again? Or am I gonna have to start making decisions? As you'll see here, this is the point where I've reached that cloud point and I've gone, this isn't safe. And I am about here on the chart. As you'll see that there is an indication, I'm right by that piece of river going, do I land? Do I find a diversion? Or do I say do a precautionary landing? And this is where I'm now considering my precautionary landing. That viz isn't as bad as it looks on that screen. So I realized there was a field behind me, so I've flown back towards the field. It's near a golf course, so it's near a main road as well, which is always good. And I'm looking at this field ahead. The field ahead looks good, so I'm bringing myself down. It looks quite high there, but I'm actually a lot lower than it seems. Um, and I'm now assessing the field. This is my, uh, my main pass. I'm bringing it right down to consider whether I want to actually land here. And then there's a bit of my back of the brain goes, if I land here, I may not be able to get out, but also I know that there is an airfield, Husband's Bosworth, um, which is gonna be coming up in a second. So I climb out to give myself more time. Now in my mind, I've got fuel, so I've got time. I've got the ability to make decisions while I've got that fuel. So I'm climbing back out and I'm looking at the chart going, yeah, Husband's Bosworth isn't actually far away. There it is. So I'm now turning on final for Husband's Bosworth. The cloud does come down a little bit more, but again, it is in those little pulses where it sort of drops down and comes back up again. Uh, so I'm climbing back out as high as I can get. I'm effectively on a very long final into Husband's Bosworth. Uh, I can see it in the distance, but again, the, the cameras with the moisture on them make it look a bit distorted. Uh, so I'm now looking, I've already called them up on the radio, no response but I can actually see them in the distance. There it is. I can actually see it even through that camera lens. There's Husband's Bosworth. I've set myself for a landing, done all my pre-landing checks. But the thing in my back of my mind is, Husband's Bosworth is a known surface area. It's got good surface under the wheels and there are gonna be people there if I do uh, inadvertently have an accident. Um, Whereas in a field, I'm not going to be able to have that. Now bear in mind, this is all in the space of five minutes. The aircraft's moving, I'm trying to navigate and remain safe and make decisions. And this is the point I'm trying to get across in the video is, it's all well and good making decisions uh, in the cold light of day at a table or in a, in a structured lesson. But sometimes when it happens in real life, that's when it, it counts to land. Um, and, uh, and that's where we'll wrap up this debrief. 
Well, it's a novel moment. Um, basically, I'm at husband's Bosworth right now. <laughs> uh, the club chairman, Simon, who's somewhere over there, I think they've got a competition on this week. I was just walking around the Peritrack, has come over and introduced himself. They, they thought I was Clive Mason, so sorry, Clive, it was me today. Um, but the reception would be very helpful, so I diverted in here because the cloud base was going down and down and down. It's safer to be on the ground than in the air. Um, but it wasn't supposed to be forecast, so even the gliders are out today waiting to go up. And the first question they asked me when I walked in was, what was the cloud base? But other than that, no, that machine's here, I'm safe. I'm going to go in the cafe uh, and go and have a cup of tea and warm up and then wait for the cloud to lift and then clear off into uh, to New Farm. So, uh, yeah, a nice little adventure on an adventure.